Avengers of the Lab. The University of Chicago, our superhero headquarters. We have many lab heroes here. Let's go check in with a few and see how they are saving the day. Here's one of our techs. Let's see what she's up to today. I'm accessioning specimens. Right now, I'm double checking the names. Oh no, the names don't match. to call to get this fixed. Hi, is this GI procedure? A great save by our tech. Stopping downstream problems and making sure the correct patient gets the correct results. Now we're in chemistry and it looks like there are some questionable results. Aha! I found that these results are contaminated. I will call the doctor. I'll call these results. Are these contaminated? Yes? Okay, I'll cancel them. Another great save for our chem collaborators. Now we're here in the blood donation center and we have a different kind of hero. A volunteer blood donor. Are you okay? Oh wait. Oh no, it looks like he's having a reaction. But don't worry, our heroes are on the case. Mr. Tang! Are you okay? That was a close one, but it looks like our heroes have revived him and are doing a great job stopping his donation to prevent any more issues. You're feeling much better, correct? Yeah. Good. Good. Your donation today could help save up to two adult lives and possibly six babies. Let's leave them to Thank it you. and go check in with immunology. Today, I'm working on allergy testing on the body. There was an order from a doctor today about a patient who ate seafood at a party and they had a reaction. Turns out she's positive for a reaction to tilapia. Tilapia. Now she won't have an allergic reaction. Now we're in hematology. Let's see what our hero is working on. So here I have a patient that has a new critical platelet low count. In this case, I'm going to check the previous results to see if there's any previous that correlate. There are none. So we need to check the stats to make sure that the platelet count is actually accurate. No clot. Now let's check this here to make sure there's no clots under there. Aha! There are microclots present under the smear, therefore we need to redraw to make sure that this patient gets an accurate platelet count associated with their account. Another save for the lab. Let's check in with the gross room to see what heroic things they are doing. Well, I have a placenta here from a DNC case for a retained placenta after a miscarriage. Oh no. This all looks like clotted blood and I don't see any placental tissue. Now the doctor knows to keep a close eye on the patient to prevent bleeding out and they can set up another surgery to ensure the remainder of the placenta is removed. Another great save by 
Gross pathology. Oh no! Micro's in crisis mode! Show me the rules! Calm down. This is a positive blood culture. It means there's blood that has bacteria growing inside of it. We must save the patients by acting quickly yet calmly. Let's go, Mr. Explain. Good observation, Micro Man. It is of the utmost importance that we pull positive blood cultures out of this blood analyzer. Here. This is a positive blood culture bottle. We must find out what the organism is. Disease detectives and crime fighters, that is what we are. Here we observe gram-positive cocci in the bloodstream. Take a look, Microman. Ah, yes, gram-positive. I must call the doctor at once. Indubitably. Alert him. Their patient has GPC. Thank you very much. Now I can treat my patient. Good catch. The sun is setting and our hero shift is ending. They've all done a hard day's work, saving people all over the hospital. But now it's time for them to hang up their superhero suits and get some much needed rest. But don't worry, they aren't leaving the hospital undefended. That's where third shift comes in. Every morning, I wake up just the same. Another victim of ordinary fame. I don't see myself as invincible. It's not true at all. Day job that someone's got to do. It's kinda hard when everyone looks up to you. Try to make it look easy, gonna make it look good like it.